Hello and happy Friday. This is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. Today we're taking a look at Xur's inventory and what's new in the world of Destiny. First up, huge news in the world of Destiny. The year three reveal and more at the end of this video. Are we getting cross save? Are we going back to the moon? Yes, we are. I'll be talking about it at the end of the video and including the short preview that they released yesterday or the teaser trailer for year three and of course all the links to the videos you'll need to see will be down below including this uh this week at bungie's twab report thing okay back to zur zur is on nessus and in a new location as you will see he's no longer in a tree if you don't know how to find him just follow my path and i'll take you there top you'll see the faded engram if you don't know you can use 97 legendary shards to buy one the engram features forsaken exotics now so keep an eye out for that all right on to Zer's inventory we see we've got he's got a uh, sweet business karnstein armlets ash and wake and the six coyote all right let's dive a little deeper sweet business in its primary perk payday, larger magazine, increased accuracy when firing from the hip. And then we have the usual baby perks. If you don't have it, you, you should probably get this. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's not a bad weapon overall. All right, Kar Karnstein armlets with its primary perk, Vampire's Caress. Melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. These, I don't use them. They're actually pretty good. I just don't ever use them. Then we've got the usual baby blue perks. Nothing to get too excited about here. I would call the perks so-so. It's a so-so roll. Then we have the the uh, shit exotic of the week, or the award for shit exotic of the week, goes to Ashen Wake with its primary perk, Bring the Heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. And then we have the usual baby perks. Not not too bad a roll, I guess, for a crap crap exotic. And then we have the six coyote. This one, eh, eh, it's, I guess it's okay if you're looking for a double dodge. Maybe this is a good thing if you're like all uh, into PvP and you want to dodge more. I don't know. It's primary perk. Double dodge, gain a second dodge charge. That's that's uh, all I really have good to say about it. It's not too bad of a roll. Um, probably not my pick of the week. I guess if I had to go with a pick of the week, I'd probably go with the Karnstein armlets instead of this. But, uh, you know, you choose. Lastly, for Zer's inventory, we have the Five of Swords. This enables modifiers and nightfall strikes. More challenging modifiers apply larger score multipliers if you run nightfall. This is a must have. And this is about it for Zerg's inventory. Okay, now on to all the news you need to know. Keep in mind, this isn't going to be an in-depth review of year three. 
I just want to talk about my overall feelings on what is on the way. As anyone that watches my videos knows, I have not been happy with Bungie and Destiny 2 the past couple of seasons. Forsaken was strong, not great, but it was good. Since then, a lot of crap sprinkled with some sugar to help it all go down is basically what we've seen. Contrary to Bungie's claim that we're getting more content, I disagree. We're not really getting more content, we've just been getting different types of horde modes. And for most of us, we don't like this. This is, this, I mean, it, they're fun, but after, they, they grow old quickly. Some people love them, and I think that's great. But, you know, things have been lacking. New strikes, new stories, um, things like, uh, you know, no crucible maps. And it's the stuff that made Destiny great. All that mystery has been gone. So I haven't had a lot of good things to say about the game lately. Even this new season, I wasn't hyped for. Uh, or or th th this new season, uh, Opulence, not wasn't interested when I heard about it. It sounded like more of the same. And as it turns out, yes, it is. We've got a lot of things that'll be fun. There's a the the midsummer event thing. I can't remember what it's called at the moment. That sounds like a good time when they did it last year, the, the seasonal summer thing. It was awesome, so I'm hoping this will be just as good. But overall, all we got was another horde mode and uh, a lot of complicated things to do with that horde mode and collecting ruins and having to buy shit and more currency, and it's just a clusterfuck as far as I'm concerned. It, it's, not, it's not horrible, it's just not... It just doesn't have anything to do with the game that I fell in love with, and I think a lot of us feel that same way. But a lot of new players, and some old players, like it, and, and that's fine. I'm just saying it's not for me. But what I'm trying to make clear is that I haven't been truly excited for anything in the game since last September when Forsaken launched. There have been a couple of fun things to do, but each new season has been, for me, a complete letdown. So when I heard Bungie was going to have this big year three reveal, I wasn't holding my breath. The only thing that had me a little hopeful was a leak that we might be returning to the moon. Then it was confirmed just prior to Bungie's stream yesterday that we were going back to the moon. With this short teaser trailer I'm going to play for you now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you know now, I love it. There's a lot to talk about, but I'm going to be as brief as I can because I know you got things to do. But let's take a look at this trailer in case you haven't seen it. It's only like 30 or 45 seconds. And then uh, I'll get back to my, for once, very positive rant. Looking to the future always brings us back to the past. Can you feel them? I can still hear their voices. Their endless torment reshapes our moon. Nightmares now stalk the surface. Walking shadows, seeking vengeance. Our old fears, they rise again. And in the dark below? Something wicked has awakened. We must bring an end to this suffering. One way... For me, there is so much to love about this. Eris Morn, one of my favorite characters in the game, is back. The moon is back. One of my favorite get destinations in the history of the game is back. These two things alone have put me in a good place, finally. But if you're thinking this is just some remastered version of the moon, quit your bitching. Bungie is 
gone out of their way to say this is the moon after a few years of us being gone. Eris has been fighting the Taken there. She needs our help. And we're back battling old foes we thought were dead, but now have been taken, apparently from our nightmares. It sounds more like a battle against a bunch of Freddy Kruegers. And that sounds awesome to me. This information comes from the video doc released during the stream. I'm not going to play it here, but I'll link it below in the description. Or I might upload it with this video uh, and link to it. I highly recommend that you at least watch it. It's about 13-14 minutes. Um, if you don't watch it, here are some highlights. As mentioned, we're going back to the moon. Eris Morn is back. Cross-platform save will arrive when uh, Shadow Keep launches. They will also, they made a point to say that they're going to be focusing on the Crucible this, this coming year. New exotics, of course. And tell your friends that with year three, they will be able to buy and play along with you, even if they've never played the game before. Within about 15 or 20 minutes, basically, they remastered the very first mission in Destiny, our Guardian's Birth, if you will. Once that's completed, they're taken to the tower, and from there have access to most of the same activities and destinations that you do. This is awesome. It's all for just one price. I think they say like 40 bucks. This doesn't unlock everything from what I understand. And if they want to play previous full campaigns, they have to purchase those expansions separately. But as I understand it, they can access every strike, every crucible map, gambit map, every horde mode in the game with the purchase of this. As all they have to do is just, you know, create their characters, play that first mission, boom, done. Shadow Keep looks amazing to me again i highly recommend you watch the vid doc the link again below in the description it's a must see there will also be a link to the live the live stream that they had yesterday it was like about an hour and 20 minutes i'm sure it's on youtube i'll link it below if it's not i'll upload it because i recorded it just in case it's not i would go into fuller detail about all of this i just don't have the time however i just felt that with all the complaining i've done over the past six months, it's important that I talk about how excited I am for this this new season. I mean, there have been time. I mean, each each of the past seasons we've had, I wasn't hyped before they talked about it. They would say, you know, oh, you know, coming, you know, whatever date it was, and they talk about it, and I was like, this is gonna suck. I'm not gonna like it and and it arrived and it was again you know it's like something new to do but then you know once i did you know fancy gambit once i was like uh, i'm bored already you know once i once i did um the forges i was bored i i granted i did them more than once just because i wanted some of the weapons but i hated every minute of it it's redundant it's simple-minded i just it's just not for me. There's no mystery in it. There's, it's just, it's just all about grinding and busy work, and that's not why I got into this game. This coming year, Shadowkeep season or year three, I love it because it looks like they're going back to a story, you know, giving us something new, and I think that is awesome. The only, the only downside was that. Uh, when Datto, who was interviewing some of the devs, he he asked a question that felt like it came right out of something I had said when he talked about where are the new strike maps, where's the new crucible maps, um, and whoever he was talking to, I don't remember his name, kind of backed away from the question. He wanted to say, or he he said that their focus is going to be on getting the crucible back to a good place that's their focus he didn't say there's not going to be new strikes um because i'm sure with the new story that'll mean we'll at least get a couple of new strikes um but i'm going to be bugging them on twitter about this because the least they can do if they don't have time to create a new story for a new strike 
they can at least give us some remastered old ones. And I think that would be great with each season, just, you know, for free. You don't have to buy anything. It just comes with the new season for everybody. A couple of just remastered strikes. It doesn't, it doesn't take that much to do that. Um, I think that'd be great. Bring back some D1 strikes. Um, that'd be awesome. Anyways, my goal for this, like I said, I just, it's important to talk about it when I believe that Bungie is doing good things because I honestly shit on them a lot. I love them, but, but boy, lately it's just been rough because I don't like the direction they've been heading in. I, Horde mode, I understand why people like it, but it's not Destiny. That's not what Destiny was about, and I don't want to see the game turned into that. And Season 3 looks like they're they're taking maybe a little step back from from that and they're introducing a story they're bringing back a beloved character and a beloved destination and making it new again and i i think that's absolutely great it's absolutely what the game needs i'm very much looking forward to it this has made me this has renewed my interest in season of the Opu or season of opulence uh yesterday i played and I enjoyed it. Um, you know, just thinking about the new things to come and the things that I'll want to get done before September. Um, last night, I got up in the middle of the night. I, that happens from time to time lately because I've been so uninterested in the game. Instead of logging in and playing the game for an hour in the middle of the night, I'll, I'll just watch TV. And then after an hour or two, I go back to bed. Last night, I... I couldn't sleep. I'm like, I'm going to go play the game. Started leveling up my characters, and I had a good time doing it. It's nice to have to be playing the game knowing that you're doing so for a reason, that you're working towards a goal, that there's hope of things to come. And it, and it was a really good place to be, and it was the first time I played, and I was happy playing it. So, anyways, I highly recommend watching that vid doc. Uh, as it turns out, I'll be uploading it with this video I'll link to it below in the description and that's about it for this video remember if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already maybe even hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a video these things are very much appreciated and if we could get 1187 likes on this video that'd be great but most of all thanks for watching but seriously subscribe to my channel thank you